Welcome back to Luke Lawson Plays I Sleep With My Boots On Cause I'm ready for business Today we are jumping into West Dorado And my mom needs me So I'll be right back with you guys in a second Hmm Looks like my brother heard some buffalo What did he hear them say? <laughs> mom, I don't wanna help Oh, I don't wanna help him No I don't want to be a jerk, though, so I will help him. Oh, my mom says I'm sweetie. My mom thinks I'm cool. Suck it. Uh, good, he's outside, so... Let's go find our brother, and maybe he'll need some help. Hey, bro. What's happening this morning? It's a nice day on the farm and stuff. Looks like you could really use some help with those buffaloes. Yeah, eagles. Well, Mom already ruined the surprise, but I wanted to tell you. Mom! All right. Huh. Am I ready to work? I woke up with my boots on. So, does that answer your question? It didn't answer your question. Well, okay, fine. Then yes. Yes, I'm ready. Ready to work, sir. All right, big brother. Let's go get some buffaloes. Uh, do, do, do. Our little chickens. Just check it on the chickens. Here on the farm, we like to check on our chickens. Make sure they're chicken. Ning, chickening around. And then sometimes we go and we talk to mom again. Oh yeah, I can't just leave him. I just wanted to tell you, Mom, that I really love you and I appreciate you letting me grow up here on this here farm and everything you taught me about being a man and being a good brother and how to wear my boots and just, uh, just all the good things. All right, little brother. Oh, look, there's a bunch of buffalo in here, man. There's a bunch of crazy old buffalo just walking around in here and dang old buffaloes and just jumping out my way and just go get to freaking buffaloes. Hi, brother. Oh, my. Oh, I thought he was shooting me. It was like it was one of those jokes. Like he was just going to take me out and teach me a thing or two. Hey, buffaloes. I need you to go to the dang old pen over there, man. We gotta get them. I gotta go herd to some buffalo. I'm like a buffalo herder. Oh, buffalo broke free! Freedom! Buffalo is gonna make a run for it. Well, we got this time here. I'm gonna use the music to tell you a little story. This this game here takes place on a, on a wild, wild west adventure with me, little brother. And I'm gonna be doing some things for you guys as I run around in this Westerado double barreled adventure here in this pixelated town. I'm going to be getting out there and farming some buffaloes and wearing some hats and shooting some pistols. And if I'm lucky, I'll get myself a horse and a shotgun too. You've never seen no desperado like this before as my bandana's red and my blood boils for anger and for this freaking buffalo that broke free again. I appreciate you watching this video today. We're going to go out there and get us this buffalo back and bring it back to the farm so we can could, we could take them out and sell them. You got it. You stay here, brother. You make sure the other ones don't escape. I'll be back. Hey, buffalo. Hey, buffalo. Hey, buffalo. I got the buffalo, but I think your biscuits are burning, Mom. The buffalo broke free again. That don't matter. Oh, no. I was only gone for 14 days. Don't worry, big brother. It's me. Little brother. I'm glad to see you, too, man. Got freaking bandits. Come shut up my brother. And you kill my mom! 
I'm the only one. I must avenge my family's name. Oh, you didn't even see his face. What did you see? Oh. Twas the man in the flat brimmed hat, he said. We gotta go find our uncle. He will help us. I will take the gun. Oh, I don't want to shoot my brother. Oh my gosh. Goodbye, big brother. I'm sorry. But I love you. Is that it? No. Oh. Well. Sorry, bro. It's better this way. We gotta go find our uncle. Goodbye, Mom. You were the best mother I ever had. Thanks for teaching me how to tie my boots. Uh oh, I missed it. Let's get out of here. Wish I had a buffalo to ride. We gotta go find our uncle. And our only clue is that we're looking for a man in a flat-brimmed hat and he killed my mother, it's true. If we can't find our uncle today, well, I don't know what we'll do. We're going to ride around in this here western land, it's so. And then we're going to find a new friend, because that's why I'm a desperado. We found our uncle's home. That's just me, uncle. It's... Nephew, little nephew. I, they never told me my name. I just. I, I, I had a big brother, so I must be little nephew. I'm not sure. It's me, little nephew. It is. It is me, nephew. He, he knows me. Uncle, you've got to sit down and listen. They killed everyone. I don't want to warm myself by the stove. They killed your sister. I just told you. Um, I mean, I my brother's dead, but I don't, I don't want to pull my gun on him, do I? No. He doesn't have a flat-brimmed hat. It couldn't have been him. My brother never wore a hat. It gets him every time. I put him down. It's okay. It had to be done. He was terribly injured. He had stubbed his toes. Oh, do you, I can't sleep at a time like this. Do you understand what happened, Uncle? Your sister is dead, our home is burning to the ground, and you want me to go to sleep. Are you absolutely kidding right now? I can't. I can't even sleep. I can't sleep at a time like this. It's good. It won't let me push any buttons. <laughs> Take me to the bed And then we'll go Are you going to tuck me in, Uncle? I'm so scared I killed everyone I, Oh my gosh Why are you watching me then? Uh, I don't like when Uncle watches me sleep Well, I'm a lonesome cowboy And I wear my boots to bed I wear this brown hat on top of my head and I sleep in my clothes so you know I'm ready to work they killed my brother well I did I'm kind of a jerk I gotta find my uncle and tell him what to do he's gonna give me direction and help see me through I'm a desperado man and you don't know it but I'm, I'm gonna avenge the Death and stuff too Cause that's what desperados do Oh, my uncle's outside Hey uncle, I had a good sleep 
I slept with my boots on again. I need to, I need to talk to you for a moment. But you keep running away. Thanks for helping me find the murderer that took away my family, Uncle. I really don't know what I would do without you. So I gotta, gotta trick people into trusting me, eh? Well, I'll remember to keep track of the promises I make. I can always refer to my journal if I forget. Um, Clintville, to the northeast. A sheriff or a saloon owner might help me, you say. Thanks, uncle. I don't know what I would do without you and your words of wisdom. You think, hey, you think I could borrow your horse? Well, I guess I'll be going, uncle. I'm hitting the road and you know it's true. I spent some time with my uncle, it's so. He gave me a bed and some new things to know. I got to get on the road and find some Clintville too. Oh. Which way is that? Rancher Cobbs. Mm, we want to go north. North is always up. Always up. I had a conversation with my buddy Good Chaos the other day while I was floating down the river. And I was... I was going up the river and... He led me to believe that I can't go up a river, but only down a river. And I told him that I was going up. And up is always forward, and north is always up. And I was heading north, and long story short, I went up that river. And I had a good time. Looks like we got some train tracks. We're gonna just gonna keep on passing. Ain't gonna see no train around here, no dang old train. That's, we gotta head, head on up to Clintville now. Looks like we made it. These people are moving around rather quickly. Hello, miss. Can you give me... I am not familiar with these parts. I don't travel much. I normally just stay at home and eat my mom's biscuits and help my brother with the buffaloes. Everybody here seems to be wearing flat burn pets. I, I won't I won't immediately blame him. Uh, but I will be honest and say I don't really know what's going on around here. Well that's pretty nice of you, sir. Why don't you tell me a little more about this this whole Clinville? Ain't got no trains. I bet we could get a strike of rich here with this oil. I feel like we need to have a word with this oil tycoon. Introduce him to the barrel of my gun. That's right. You got the money, you got the honeys. But more money, more problems. You know what I'm saying? You look like you could be a sheriff, sir. I did be the more mine and now born in Baton Rouge. Don't you know I'll guarantee how you help you uh, yourself now today? Good old, old miner always talking that Baton Rouge gibberish. Mm, it's an interesting hat you got there, sir. Looks like it might be a Not too many people wear them hats like this, not down here. Oh, I get you them little train ticket from them uh, ticket salesman. And you might not give me that dang little hat now. I'll take a half dog ticket train. He's gonna lose his mind if he don't get out of here this city. 
Mm hmm. I sure could use that the miner's hat. Because if I find any mines, I'm going to need to be able to see into the dark. I don't know how much a train ticket is, though. That's the only downside. Oh, yes, welcome to Clintsville. Howdy, partner. This is, uh... This is a pretty looking lady in a dress. I bet she needs some help. This lady needs some help. The eagle crawls whenever I do my business. I would like to thank you all for watching Westerado Double Barrel today. If you've enjoyed this series, I would appreciate you hitting a button or two somewhere in or around your screen area. I look forward to diving in a little deeper into this storyline. This is a, a semi-open world RPG adventure. Don't let the pixels fool ya. This, this guy means business. He, he doesn't really mess around. And I don't, I don't take too kindly to people pointing them guns at me. 